of um, this particular panel. Um, I'd like to invite Mr. Cobus Lowe of the, the Morgan Group, who is representing Schalk, the Skin, Hide and Leather Council of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity. Um, the leather industry in South Africa is, uh, well, compared to all the other speakers, it's relatively small. Um, we slaughter about 2.7 million heads of cattle per year. 75% um, of that cattle uh, originate from feedlots within a very controlled environment and therefore the quality of these hides are very good. Uh, for South Africa, uh, as a small player, it's more um, a principle of quality than it's a principle of volume due to the size. In terms of the feedlot situation, as I said, it's very regulated. Um, we comply with all the veterinary regulations and um, due to the fact that the cattle are managed very well in the open spaces that we do manage them, um, the hides are also very well cared and procured. Uh, this is just pictures of the farming industry. We do cattle, we do sheep, we do game, and we do agronomy. Uh, there's 25% uh, of the hides that comes from smaller farms and um, more informal farming sector, and these hides are a bit more inconsistent and for that reason, uh, it's, it's not of the same quality as the heights that comes from the feedlots. This is a, just a map of Africa and basically the spatial diversity of the feedlots in South Africa. Um, this is only the major feedlots. Um, and as I said, 75% of all cattle in South Africa basically comes uh, are basically in these feedlots. This is the slaughter per month and as I mentioned the slaughter per year. Uh, on the export side we export about 25% wet salted or raw uh, We export 75% wet blue hides and there's uh, about 65% that's involved in some sort of a value adding process. Uh, compared to the feedlot, uh, feedlots in South Africa, this is the um, six major wet blue tanneries in, in South Africa. Uh, the capacity that we have in the wet blue tanning industry is exactly the same as the capacity um, in terms of the slaughter. So we've got wet blue capacity in South Africa to do basically the 2.7 million head of cattle that's been slaughtered per year in South Africa. The industries that, uh, the leather industry in, in South Africa is basically, the largest one is the automotive industry, but uh, due to a number of factors that we experience, and I suppose it's a global situation, um, over the last nine years, five major plants uh, closed down in South Africa and moved to uh, areas of, I suppose, cheaper production, etc. So we still have two major uh, automotive production uh, tanneries in South Africa. In the shoes in shoe industry, it's basically the same. Um, it's it's just uncompetitive on this kind of scale to to. Uh, produce shoes in, in South Africa uh, for any other purpose as for local use. Uh, 
the furniture uh, sector is still doing very well, um, but the competition with other forms of synthetic materials and uh, textile is at this stage uh, very high and the expensiveness of, of leather makes it also difficult for the upholstery guys. Just again, the number of cattle from feedlots, it's 75% and from smaller farms, it's 25%. Uh, quality influencing factors, the, the flay situation, obviously the uh, more commercial type of farming, which is 75% of, of the cattle are being slaughtered in well-regulated uh, abattoirs and uh, the flay process are well monitored and the uh, average hide in uh, South Africa in raw varies from about 32 kgs to up to 40, 42 kgs. In the small industry uh, where the cattle are slaughtered in less uh, regulated situations, uh, the fly also becomes a problem and the weight varies from light to whatever weight. The processing of the heights, uh, we process about 75% of the heights in the raw and 25% uh, of the heights become salted and uh, most of these heights get exported. Uh, as I mentioned, the six major tanneries or wet blue tanneries in South Africa are well equipped and well managed and uh, they produce very, very good wet blue hides. Uh, the labor situation in Africa has uh, actually stabilized in the leather industry over the past two years and um, we've, we've got to a point where uh, we can actually see that the skill and um, efficiency in the labor market has, has actually increased. There was a, a number of job losses due to the uh, finishing, cutting and sewing sector that, that actually uh, got smaller over the past number of years. From the government side, there's an initiative to uh, create jobs and therefore there's a, a process uh, that the government drives to, to actually try and um, levy the export of raw hides and at least uh, create a situation where wet blue plants are utilized and that there's enough uh, labor or work uh, creation. Thank you.